Hi, in Tableau we have eight different types of files. In this video, I'm gonna explain them, show you the differences between them, when to use what, and how you can create them. At the start, those Tableau files did really confuse me a lot. So make sure your coffee is ready because mine is here and we start right now. Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Barra Salkini and I am IT Architects. Tableau extensions did really confuse me at the start. That's why I've done some research to understand what they mean and how they are generated. In Tableau, we have around eight different types of files. I split them into two groups. The left group, we have around five extensions. They are really important and commonly used in projects. On the right group, we have here three extensions. They are rarely used and not that famous compared to the left one. So now before I jump and start explaining those types, I would like first to explain the process of creating new visualizations and then map those files into this process in order to make it easier to understand. Okay guys, in order to create a new dashboards, we usually do the following steps. First, we can connect to our data. For example, here my data in my SQL database, I'm going to enter the connection information to be able to be connected to my data. After I've done that, we're going to go and set up our data sources. And there is a lot of work to be done here before I even start building my dashboards. Here you need to build your data model, you need to connect your tables with each other using relationships and joins, you need to create calculated fields or parameters, changing the data types, setting up the connections type, live extracts, and so on. There is a lot of work to be done. Once I'm done setting up my data source, I can start build my visualizations. So first we start with the worksheets. Oops. So we build some bulk diagrams and then we can combine them with the dashboard stories and so on. So after you're done building your dashboards, here you might be in the situation where you want to share your awesome work with your colleagues or users. And the question is here, what do you want to share? Do you want to share only the dashboards or you want to share your work as a data source? or you want to share only your data. And that's why Tableau created different formats for different cases. Now I split our work into three sections, your data, your setup as a data source, and your work on the visualizations. Let's start with the one that you might already know and the most used one, and that's Tableau Workbook, TWB. Most of you guys already generated many files with this format if you are working with Tableau because it is the default one. So this format contains a lot of information, a lot of your work, your work on the visualizations, worksheets, dashboards, stories, and your data source setups like data model, connection between tables, calculations, and so on with the connection information as well to your data. But one thing that this format don't have, and that is your data. So use this format if you want to share your great work with the colleagues and users, but make sure that they have access to your data. So now let's see how we can generate this format. In order to generate this format, it's pretty simple. It's standard as saving any file. So we go to the menu over here, file, and then save as. As you click on that, you will see the default from Tableau. It says, okay, the file name and TWB. Tableau workbook, and that's it, then save. With doing that, you will save your dashboards and the data source without any data. Okay, next, let's say that your data at your local machine, your computer, and no one can access it, or you cannot give your users a direct access to your database. Then Tableau workbook will not work because the user don't have access to your data. That means you need to share as well your data. Then you can use another Tableau format, and that's called Tableau Packaged Workbook, TWX. It's the same as Tableau Workbook TWB, but it packages as well your data inside it. That's why we have this name, Packaged Workbook. So this format will bundle everything in one file. And once you share this file with others, they can use Tableau Desktop or Tableau Reader in order to access your work. So now let's see how we can generate this format. Okay, in order to generate this format, we're gonna do the same stuff as TWB. So it's standard stuff, we're gonna go to the menu, click on file, then save as. The only thing that we're gonna change here is the type. 
We don't need the default one, we need the packaged one. You see here, Tableau Packaged Workbook. I'm just gonna change the name of it. Then click Save. Now let's check those files. We have here now two files, as you see with different types. As you might already noticed, the size of the packaged workbook is much bigger than the old one because in the Tableau workbook, we have only visualizations, setup of the data source, but we don't have data. And with the package, you have your data. So be careful using the package workbook and check the size because if you have a lot of data, it might be hard to share it with the others. So you might need here to filter the data or reduce the size of it. Okay, guys, let's say you have the following situations where you are connected to your data. You start configuring the data sources, building the data models, creating new columns. And at the end, you build your visualizations. But after a while, you have new idea. You want to build a new dashboard on top of the same data, but you don't want to do the same operations on the data source over and over again. So what you can do, you can save all your work on the data source in one file in order to reuse it in many new dashboards. With that, you're gonna save a lot of time. So in this situation, you can go and use another Tableau format called Tableau Data Source TDS. It's great as well to share it with your team so they can benefit from your work and start immediately building new dashboards using your awesome work on the data source that you have already prepared for them. Instead of having that everyone on your team doing the same stuff, the same preparation, the data source over and over again. With that, you save your time and you save as well their time. So let's say how you can generate this type of format. All right, guys, here is my data source and I want to generate the data source format for it. It's a little bit tricky, so follow me on that. In order to do that, just go to any of your worksheets. I'm gonna go over here and then at the data pane top left, you will find again your data source, right click on it and you will see here an option called add to saved data sources. Once you click on that, you are generating now the Tableau data source TDS. I'm gonna save it at my folder. Let's check that again. You see here, this is my Tableau data source format and the size of it is small because we are saving here only the configurations and the setup of the data source without having any data inside it. So if you are sharing it with the others, make sure that they have the access to your data. Without that, they will not be able to build their dashboards. All right, next you say, okay, I want to share only my data source, but my team or my users don't have access to my data. We have here the same situation as the workbook. So what you can do, you can combine your data source with your data in a new format called Tableau Package Data Source TDSX. And let's see how we can generate that. Okay, guys, to create this format, we're going to do the same stuff as before. So we are at the worksheets. We go to the data pane on the top left, then right click on the data source, then select the option add to saved data sources. Once you do that, we're going to change now the type of the file. So if you click over here, you will see Tableau package data source. We need that. And I'm going to change the name of it as well. Click save. Then let's check the folder. You will see here we created now another format called package data source. The size of it is bigger than the data source because here we have as well your data inside it. Be careful with the size of it in order to share it with the others. All right, next we have very important file extension. You can move your data inside Tableau instead of having a direct connection to your data. This is called extract. Extracts are great because they are very optimized to give you the best performance in Tableau dashboards. In another tutorial, I'm going to go in details and explain the extracts. So if you want only to share your data, you don't want to share data sources or visualizations, only sharing your data, you can use Tableau Data Extracts, the extension called Hyper. In the old versions of Tableau, they called it TDE, but since 10.5, we have a new format, this hyper, where we can store larger size of data and it's faster and more secure. So let's check now how we can generate the Tableau data extracts. Okay, now we are back to my data source. Currently, I'm using live connection. That means I'm connected directly to my database. Now, in order to create extract file, 
it's very simple just switch to the extract so now the data source is in the extracts modus now if you click on the worksheets over here Tableau gonna ask me where you're gonna store the extract. The default path of the extract is inside your Tableau repository. So if you go in this folder, you will find a lot of stuff like bookmarks, connectors, data source. This repository can be created once you install Tableau at your computer. So the default path of the extracts is inside data sources. I recommend you here to leave all your extracts in one place in the default path here. So you don't like save it in different places and you lose one of them. So once you click on save, Tableau gonna save the extracts in this folder. All right, now we have successfully created the main different types of Tableau files and the most used one. They have different sizes and they fulfill different purposes. There are other types of Tableau files. And to be honest, in the last five years working with Tableau and in my projects, I never used them. They are not that famous, but still worth talking about them. We have here three types. The first one, Tableau Bookmark TBM. Here you can export one single worksheet from one workbook to be used in another workbook. The next one we have Tableau Map Source TMS. If you are connected to Map Server that is not supported, you can create such a file TMS to store those information. The next one we have Tableau Preferences. For example, if you create a custom color that should be used as standards in all your worksheets and all your dashboards, then you can save those informations in this type format. All right, guys, if you keep digging around, you might be able to find some more Tableau extensions. I hope this video helped you to understand the different types of Tableau files, differences between them, and when to use what. In the next tutorial, I'm going to do a deep dive in Tableau extracts because they are the most powerful tool that Tableau introduced. If this video helped you to understand Tableau extensions, give this video a like. And as always, if you want to learn more about Tableau or working with data, Click on subscribe so you don't miss any content. If you have any questions or you want me to cover any other topic, use the comment section below. Don't forget to check my other tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya.